Shalom. When it comes to reading the Megillah, most of us aren't the ones reading the Megillah, and therefore we fulfill our obligation by hearing somebody else reading the Megillah. Now, reading the Megillah is one of four of the mitzvahs on Purim, but it plays a primary role. It's how we do pursue May Nisa, it's how we publicize the miracle, which is really what Purim is all about, celebrating the miracle of God saving the Jews from Haman and Ahasuerus' decree. Well, when we hear somebody else, when we listen to somebody else reading the Megillah, they're actually taking our place, and therefore, we need to be very careful to hear every single word. We can't be distracted. We can't be making noise. We definitely cannot be talking. And we have to follow along every single word. When you go to Shul this year, you'll see, if you look around, a lot of people bring their own Megillahs and actually quietly read along with the Balkori, with the one reading the Megillah. That's an effort to fulfill their obligation in the best way possible by reading the Megillah. It also enables them to make sure that they don't miss a word. And it's of primary importance that we do not miss even one word of the Megillah reading. This can become a problem in minyanim that make a lot of noise at the mention of Haman's name. That's a, that's a standard and valid custom to make noise. But what the Baal Kore and the congregation have to be very careful about is that when they make the noise, they stop making the noise before the reader continues reading. So that way you can hear every single word. Make sure you attend the minyan where you can hear every single word. Shalom.